Have you ever wondered why some people seem to thrive well into their golden years, while others struggle with health issues and unhappiness? The answer lies in the small, everyday habits that can either add years to your life or silently shorten it. Today, I'm going to share some practical advice on what habits to avoid after 70 to ensure your retirement is as fulfilling and vibrant as possible. Retirement is often seen as a time to relax, enjoy life, and reap the rewards of your hard work. But did you know that the habits you practice daily can have a profound impact on your well-being and longevity? As we age, every choice we make, from our mindset to our social interactions, plays a crucial role in determining how healthy, happy, and long our lives will be. Life after 70 should be a period filled with joy, peace, and self-discovery. Yet, it can also be a time when certain habits, often unnoticed, start to take a toll on our health and happiness. These habits, if left unchecked, can diminish the quality of your life and even shorten your lifespan. So, what are these habits that could be silently affecting you? In this video, we'll uncover the eight habits that might be hindering you from living your best life. Whether it's worrying too much about your descendants, neglecting your own health, or underestimating the importance of saving money, you'll learn exactly what to stop doing to maximize your golden years. Stay tuned, because making these changes could be the key to a longer, healthier, and more joyful life. Section 1. Don't worry excessively about descendants. Have you ever caught yourself lying awake at night, worried about the future of your children and grandchildren? It's a common concern, but did you know that constantly worrying about your descendants can actually harm your own well-being? It's time to shift your focus from anxiety to empowerment for both you and your loved ones. As parents and grandparents, it's natural to want the best for our descendants. However, excessive worry about their futures can cause immense stress, impacting our physical and mental health. Studies have shown that constant worry and anxiety can elevate stress hormones, which can lead to a range of health issues, from heart problems to weakened immunity. Instead of prolonging your life with happiness and tranquility, over-worrying could actually shorten it. The key is to trust in the process of life and allow your children and grandchildren to navigate their own paths. Remember, each person must face their own set of challenges and make their own decisions. By giving them more space and independence, you are not abandoning them. You are providing the room they need to grow and develop their own resilience and problem-solving skills. It is through these experiences that they learn to handle life's ups and downs. Instead of focusing on leaving behind material wealth, consider imparting values like frugality, hard work, and self-discipline. These values are far more valuable than money and will serve them well throughout their lives. Teach them to manage resources wisely, face adversity with courage, and find contentment in what they have. Your example will guide them more profoundly than any inheritance ever could. Ultimately, your primary responsibility is to yourself, to live a life of peace, health, and happiness. Plan wisely for your future, ensuring that you have the resources and support needed to enjoy your golden years. Letting go of excessive worry about your descendants not only protects your well-being, but also fosters a healthier, more balanced relationship with your loved ones, based on mutual respect, trust, and freedom. Section 2. Don't be overly soft-hearted. Have you ever found it difficult to say no when someone asks for a favor, even if it inconveniences you? While it might seem noble to always lend a helping hand, being overly soft-hearted can sometimes backfire, leading to stress and even making you a target for manipulation. It's essential to balance kindness with wisdom to protect your own well-being. While generosity and kindness are virtues, being too lenient or overly giving can sometimes invite unnecessary trouble. When you constantly say yes to others, 
you may unintentionally open the door to being taken advantage of or manipulated by those who seek to exploit your kindness. This can create stress and anxiety, leaving you feeling drained and resentful. Rather than contributing to a peaceful, happy life, being overly soft-hearted can sometimes lead to significant emotional and even financial burdens. Take the story of Mr. L as an example. After retiring, Mr. L was known for his helpful nature and willingness to assist his neighbors with whatever they needed. However, his kindness became a double-edged sword. One day, he discovered his home had been burglarized, and the culprit turned out to be a young man from the neighborhood who had frequently borrowed money from him. Mr. L's generosity, though well-intentioned, made him an easy target for theft teaching him a harsh lesson about the dangers of being overly soft-hearted. The key takeaway here is that kindness must be tempered with discernment. It's crucial to learn how to set boundaries and prioritize your own well-being, especially as you age. Not every request requires a yes, and it's okay to decline favors that may put your security or peace of mind at risk. Learning to say no when needed isn't an act of selfishness. It is an act of self-preservation and self-respect. By establishing clear boundaries, you can protect yourself from undue stress and ensure that your kindness is extended to those who truly deserve it. This way, you can continue to live a life filled with compassion, but also one that is safe, secure, and emotionally balanced. Remember, your golden years are a time to enjoy the fruits of your labor, not to be burdened by the demands of others. Section 3. Don't be willfully optimistic. Do you ever find yourself giving people the benefit of the doubt, believing they always have the best intentions? While optimism is a beautiful trait, being overly optimistic can sometimes lead to heartbreak and disappointment, especially in relationships. It's crucial to strike a balance between hope and caution to protect yourself from unnecessary hurt. Excessive optimism, while often viewed as a positive outlook, can sometimes cloud our judgment. When we are too optimistic, we may ignore red flags, overlook harmful behaviors, or assume that others will always treat us with kindness and respect. This can make us vulnerable to manipulation, deceit, and exploitation leaving us feeling betrayed and disillusioned when things don't go as expected. In relationships, especially later in life, this kind of naivety can be particularly damaging. Think about it. Believing unconditionally in the goodness of others might seem like a noble approach, but it can lead to painful experiences when people don't live up to our expectations. For example, some individuals may take advantage of your trust and generosity, using your optimistic outlook to manipulate or deceive you. Whether it's a distant relative asking for money or a friend who always seems to need a favor, being willfully optimistic can expose you to those who may not have your best interests at heart. The key advice here is to balance your optimism with a healthy dose of caution. This doesn't mean you have to become cynical or distrustful. Instead, it means being aware of the potential for exploitation and protecting yourself from situations that could lead to disappointment. Take time to assess people's intentions and actions before fully trusting them, and don't be afraid to establish boundaries that safeguard your emotional and financial well-being. By adopting a more balanced approach, you can maintain your positive outlook on life without setting yourself up for unnecessary hurt or frustration. Life after 70 should be a time of peace and fulfillment, not of regrets or resentment. So be hopeful and kind, but also wise and discerning, and you will find that your optimism can coexist with a sense of self-protection and strength. Section 4. Don't become too obsessed with socializing. Do you ever feel drained after attending too many social gatherings or find yourself caught up in unnecessary drama? While staying socially active is important, 
becoming overly obsessed with socializing can lead to exhaustion and emotional turbulence. The key is to focus on quality over quantity when it comes to relationships. Over socializing, especially in later years, can take a toll on your physical and emotional well-being. Constantly attending events, parties and gatherings may seem like a way to stay connected, but it can quickly lead to fatigue and burnout. Furthermore, excessive socializing often brings with it an increased risk of getting caught up in conflicts, misunderstandings, or unnecessary drama that can drain your energy and peace of mind. It's also worth considering that not all friendships are created equal. While it's natural to want to be surrounded by people, trying to maintain too many superficial connections can leave you feeling unfulfilled and lonely. Superficial relationships often lack the depth and mutual understanding that are essential for true companionship. Instead of spreading yourself thin by socializing with everyone, focus on nurturing a few deep and meaningful friendships that provide genuine support, joy, and comfort. The key advice here is to prioritize quality over quantity when it comes to your social life. Seek out friends who truly understand and appreciate you, those who share similar values and interests, and who enrich your life rather than complicate it. This approach not only helps reduce stress and unnecessary drama, but also ensures that your social interactions are meaningful and fulfilling. Remember your later years are a precious time meant for relaxation, reflection, and enjoyment. Rather than exhausting yourself by trying to keep up with everyone, choose to spend your time with those who truly matter. By cultivating a circle of genuine friends, you create a support network that enhances your happiness, bringing peace and fulfillment to your golden years. Section 5. Don't overly prioritize relatives. Have you ever felt let down by a family member or found yourself making decisions that only benefit others at your expense? While family is important, over-prioritizing relatives can sometimes lead to irrational choices and emotional pain. It's crucial to remember that true loyalty isn't always bound by blood, and healthy boundaries are key to protecting your peace. Family connections often come with a deep sense of attachment and responsibility. However, overly valuing these ties can sometimes cloud your judgment, causing you to make decisions that don't align with your own best interests. You might find yourself giving in to unreasonable demands, lending money that you can't afford to lose, or sacrificing your own happiness for the sake of familial harmony. This overcommitment can lead to frustration and resentment when your efforts aren't reciprocated or appreciated. It's also essential to recognize that not all family members will always act in your favor. While we may hope for loyalty and kindness from relatives, the reality is that blood relations don't always guarantee supportive or reliable behavior. In some cases, friends or non-relatives might be more dependable than family members. Holding on to the belief that family should always come first, regardless of the circumstances, can lead to disappointment and emotional strain. The key advice here is to set healthy boundaries and approach family relationships with a balanced perspective. Understand that your own well-being is equally important, and it's okay to prioritize your needs over unrealistic expectations from family members. By establishing clear limits on what you are willing to do or give, you protect yourself from being taken advantage of or feeling undervalued. Ultimately, life after 70 should be a time of peace, joy, and self-care, not a period filled with stress from unfulfilled familial obligations. By recognizing that loyalty and support can come from various sources, not just family, you allow yourself the freedom to build a fulfilling life surrounded by those who genuinely care for you. Embrace relationships that bring positivity and meaning, and don't be afraid to step back from those that do not. Section 6. Don't Neglect Saving Money Have you ever thought about how financial worries could impact your happiness as you age? While you might feel secure now, 
Neglecting to save money can lead to anxiety and limit your freedom in later years. Ensuring financial stability is not just about comfort. It's about peace of mind and the ability to enjoy life to the fullest. Financial security becomes increasingly important as we age. Without sufficient savings, every unexpected expense, be it a medical emergency or a necessary home repair, can feel like a crisis. This constant worry over money can rob you of the joy and relaxation you deserve during retirement. On the other hand, having a solid financial cushion brings a sense of security, allowing you to make choices without the burden of financial stress. Medical expenses in particular can be a significant concern for older adults. Even with insurance, out-of-pocket costs can add up quickly. Neglecting to save money for potential medical needs could lead to delaying necessary care or avoiding doctor visits altogether, which can worsen health issues over time. Preparing for these possibilities with a dedicated savings plan helps ensure that you can seek timely medical attention without the added worry about how to pay for it. The key advice here is to maintain a consistent savings plan, no matter your age. Even small regular contributions can accumulate over time, providing a buffer against unexpected expenses. Think of this savings not just as a financial strategy, but as an investment in your future freedom and well-being. It's a step toward maintaining control over your life and your choices. Ultimately, saving money is about more than just financial gain. It's about preserving your independence, dignity, and peace of mind. By prioritizing savings, you empower yourself to live your later years with confidence, free from the constraints of financial anxiety. Plan wisely now, so you can enjoy the richness and beauty of life without unnecessary worry about the future. Section 7. Don't underestimate the importance of health. Have you ever wondered what your most valuable asset is in your golden years? It's not wealth, possessions, or even time. It's your health. Without good health, all other joys in life fade into the background. Taking care of your body and mind should always be a top priority because, ultimately, health is the true foundation of a happy and fulfilling life. Health is the cornerstone of everything we do. In our later years, it determines our ability to enjoy family gatherings, pursue hobbies, travel, and engage in all the activities that bring us joy. Ignoring the importance of health maintenance can lead to a rapid decline in quality of life, impacting not only physical capabilities but also mental and emotional well-being. A healthy body supports a healthy mind, which is crucial for maintaining a positive outlook on life. To safeguard your health, prioritize regular checkups with your healthcare provider. Routine screenings can help detect potential issues early, making them easier to manage or treat. This proactive approach to healthcare allows you to stay on top of any changes in your body and adjust your lifestyle accordingly. It's a simple but powerful habit that can add years to your life and life to your years. Equally important is staying physically active. Incorporate regular exercise into your daily routine, whether it's walking, yoga, or strength training. Physical activity helps maintain mobility, balance, and strength, reducing the risk of falls and injuries. It also boosts mental health by releasing endorphins, the body's natural mood elevators. A commitment to staying active promotes longevity and keeps you feeling vibrant and youthful. Lastly, don't forget to nurture your mental well-being. Engage in activities that stimulate your mind, such as reading, puzzles, or learning new skills. Social connections are also vital. Maintaining friendships and engaging in community activities can reduce feelings of isolation and depression. By taking a holistic approach to health, which includes both the body and the mind, you can ensure a more joyful, active, and fulfilling retirement. Section 8. Don't lose your temper with family members. Have you noticed how easily a moment of anger can escalate into a lingering conflict with those you love most? Losing your temper with family members may provide a fleeting release, 
but it can also damage relationships that are essential for happiness and support in your later years. To foster a peaceful home environment, it's crucial to practice patience and empathy. Frequent conflicts with family can chip away at the very foundation of your well-being. Arguments over trivial matters often create emotional distance, leading to resentment, misunderstanding, and even long-term estrangement. As we age, these conflicts can become more painful, leaving us feeling isolated and disconnected from those we care about most. It is important to remember that nurturing positive relationships with family members can significantly enhance your quality of life. The key to maintaining harmony within the family lies in cultivating patience. Understand that not every disagreement needs to be resolved with immediate confrontation. Sometimes, taking a moment to breathe and reflect can help you approach a situation with a calmer mind. By choosing not to react impulsively, you give yourself the chance to communicate more thoughtfully and avoid saying things you might regret later. Empathy is another powerful tool for preventing conflicts. Try to put yourself in the shoes of your loved ones and consider their perspectives. Often, understanding the reasons behind their actions or words can soften your own reactions. This doesn't mean you have to agree with them all the time, but it does help create an atmosphere of mutual respect and understanding. By practicing patience and empathy, you create a more harmonious family environment where love and support can flourish. Remember, a peaceful home is one where every member feels valued and heard. In your golden years, maintaining strong, loving relationships with family can be a source of great joy and comfort, helping you navigate the challenges of aging with a sense of peace and fulfillment. Thank you for watching, everyone. If you found this video helpful, drop a 9 in the comments. If you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to leave a 0. See you in the next video.